Stop, stop, stop. Don't waste a dime on video editing software just yet. Today, I'm gonna show you guys Video Proc Vlogger. Super powerful, free video editing software. It's intuitive, it's super smooth, has a bunch of effects, and it's not one of those fake free video editing softwares. You know the ones, you download them, boom, there's a watermark on the screen. You have to pay to remove the watermark. It's a whole nightmare, don't worry. This is actually free, it's the real deal. You could use this for free. I've been using Video Proc Vlogger for a few hours this morning. I've edited a YouTube video, I've edited a music video, and I've got some use out of this thing. Today, we're going to be breaking it down. I'm going to tell you guys what I like. I'm also going to tell you guys the few things I don't like. This is an honest review. We are sponsored by Video Proc Vlogger, but we always keep it real on this channel. Real quickly, if you want to download Video Proc Vlogger and follow along with the video, you can click the link down below. Go to videoproc.com, click the free download button right there, and you guys can follow along. So first things first, this thing is beyond smooth, right? It's fully hardware accelerated, which means it's actually a smooth playback. I'm not going to name any names, but you guys know free video editing software is a big topic here on this channel. We've used them all. Every single free video editing software. Some of them, again, not to name names, are, are brutal. Unless you've got a high-tier PC, it makes video editing really impossible if you're dealing with laggy playback. It's got a bunch of effects. Have a look right here. There's a huge effects library, a huge transitions library, and some pretty damn advanced features as well. Stuff that high-tier video editing software like Premiere Pro has, for example. We're talking speed ramping. It has speed ramping. It's got motion effects. It's also got LUTs. You can import LUTs so you have full advanced color grading abilities. A lot of people want that stuff, especially especially the filmmakers, the more kind of pro level creatives. And because we're talking about the various different use cases, I obviously tried this out with the two kind of different ends of video production. I did content creation. We edited a YouTube video. We're going to break it down. And we also did the music video. Let's start with the YouTube video, break down the timeline, what we did, what we liked, what we didn't. And then we'll jump into the music video as well. Editing the YouTube video was pretty intuitive. All I did was I opened up some clips, I imported them, and I essentially went through an added B-roll, did some jump cuts in around with actually splicing out some mistakes. Now, uh, let's first obviously start with the things that I liked, and then we could go ahead and talk about the, the stuff I didn't like. So basic chops and cuts, right? Like formatting the content, editing out the mistakes, all that kind of stuff. Super easy. Then punch it. So we wanted to obviously zoom in, zoom out. The scale slider in the effect controls is, again, super intuitive. B-roll again, super intuitive. Drag and drop, throw it on the timeline. Really no lag at all. Music and levels, again, super easy. At this point, we've chopped a bunch of stuff. We've done punch-ins. We've thrown B-roll in there, super easy peasy, added some music in there, changed the levels so it obviously balances with my voice. We're going to play the full thing in a second. Two things I didn't like real quick. I had to unlink my audio from my video because when I record my screen record, I do it through my camera, cam link. It obviously has a little bit of lag. Usually the editing process for my personal YouTube videos, we separate the audio from the video, move it over a few frames to sync it and then relink them. I was able to detach my audio, but I wasn't able to relink it, which was a bit annoying that I couldn't relink the audio, but not the biggest deal in the world. Second thing I didn't like real quick was the lower thirds. I imported a lower third. It was nice. It was there, but I couldn't change the length of the lower third, which means I just had to let it play for like the four or five seconds it was there and have the B-roll start playing later. But again, minimal stuff, no big deal. We still edited a pretty nice YouTube video. Without further ado, let's play the full sample so you guys can watch it. What if I told you there was a proven formula that would hand clients to you? No more searching through the internet frantically trying to find a client maybe you land one maybe they give you a trial you send back the trial it wasn't good enough for them they go for somebody else nightmare i'm going to show you how to stop that doesn't happen overnight it's not gonna you know happen with the click of a finger but it will happen if you stay consistent with the strategy that i give you today this strategy is working well for many different people inside my private members community video production plus as you can see it's a nice beginner version of what a youtube video should be if you guys are getting into the game this can do everything you need it can do chops and cuts you could put b-roll in there you can add lower thirds and titles you can add music you can change the levels the speed at which i did this was very impressive i'm very happy with the play back speed. I'm very happy with the performance of Video Proc Vlogger. That's honestly got to be one of its best traits. Let's talk about the music video. Music video was the next piece of content we made. Let's load it up on the screen. Let's break down things we liked, things we didn't like. And overall, this was very easy. The first thing I actually did was do scene selection, right? I imported my clips. I chopped them out. I found the bits that I actually liked and I started piecing this together. This part was super easy, right? Then I would layer in some transitions. The transitions are very cool. There's some glitch transitions, some distorts. Also, the way that you apply effects, I 
I thought was very cool. Essentially, you have an overlay bar on the timeline, and essentially you add effects to the overlay bar. Once that effect is in the overlay bar, it will apply to that specific selection of the video. There's some cool effects here, some really nice stuff that we were able to add to the music video, which, because it was a music video, fit the vibe of flashy colors, flashy lights. Now, titles as well. I put some titles at the end to kind of piece this together. Super simple. Added them, customized them. Everything was boom, boom, two seconds, no problem, no lag, no issues. Everything was straightforward. Everything was easy. Now, quickly, a couple things that I didn't like. The effect customizations had no customizations. I couldn't fade in or out an effect. There was a, a time of the video I was messing around with the smoke effect. However, I couldn't incorporate it into my final edit simply because this smoke had no customization. I didn't want it as intense as that. I couldn't bring down the opacity. I couldn't fade it in and fade it out. So unfortunately, it had to go without. However, the effects we did use, the transitions we did use, still came together to make an awesome piece. Without further ado, let's play it and then let's come back and discuss. So in conclusion, Video Proc Vlogger is definitely a top choice for a beginner free video editing software. The reason I emphasize beginner is because for more advanced stuff, you definitely want to go and pursue potentially a more powerful software with a bit more advanced features. However, when we're talking about entry-level video editing, this thing ticks so many boxes. As a massive effects library, massive transitions library, it's intuitive, very straightforward. They're not hiding things behind anywhere. Also, it's actually free. Of course, there were a few quirks that we didn't like. However, for my beginners, video Video Proc Vlogger has everything you need from a free video editing software. If you guys enjoyed this video, the link is down below to Video Proc Vlogger. You can click on the link. If you enjoyed this video and you want more free video editing software, this video right here is going to give it to you, all right? I'm going to jump off your screen in three, two, one, and I'll see you on this video.